the Television 12 Broadcast Plaza. This is the news with Dennis Schrieffer, Andy Joyce, Bob Walker, and Tom Heaps. Good evening, I rate Wichita Industrial. is Eyewitness News at noon with Kim Setting and Corey Barron Weather. Now, the area's number one rated noon news. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Governor Finney got her way today. This is the Eyewitness News Nightcast with Roger Cornick. Cindy Close, Merrill Teller Weather, and Bruce Hurdle Sports. Now, the area's number one rated 10 o'clock news. The woman accused Bridge Sports. Now, the area's number one rated weekend news. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us tonight. This is the Eyewitness News Nightcast with Roger Cornish, Susan Peters, Merrill Teller Weather, Bruce Hurdle Sports. Now, the area's number one rated late news. A killer tornado looms on the horizon as an Andover police car speeds through. Live from Kansas' number one news source, Roger Cornish. Cindy Close, Merrill Teller's Doppler Radar Weather, and Bruce Hurdle's Sports. This is Channel 12 Eyewitness News at 6. He may have walked in a witness, but he walked out an accused bombing terrorist. Good evening. I'm Roger Cornish. And I'm Cindy Close. Thank you for joining us. And now, Channel 12 Eyewitness News Weekend. These pro wrestling stars draw big crowds in Wichita. They also answer questions about controversy in their sport. Good evening. Pro wrestling is booming, and tonight even more pro. Now, with coverage you can count on, this is KWCH 12 Eyewitness News at 5. A great smile and a great attitude. That's how one of the best-known voices of Kansas radio is remembered today. Good afternoon. Kansans have known him as Old Mike. Tonight. Fourteen years ago, she was kidnapped and murdered. Tonight, friends and family of Nancy Shoemaker fight to keep a man convicted in the case in prison. While Michael Schwenke, a four-year-old, dies and three other young people are injured after an accident in Harper County. And researchers say Mount St. Helens is just beginning to tell her story. The latest on that volcano coming up next. Now, with coverage you can count on, this is KWCH 12 Eyewitness News Weekend. Good evening. While most of Kansas remain quiet tonight, some parts are seeing... WCH 12 Eyewitness News. Breaking news. We're covering three big stories tonight. Ann Myers in Sedgwick, where a biodiesel plant exploded. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. A woman watches this explosion from her oh backyard. Gosh. What went through her mind as she saw, shot this video, you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Plus... It was just like a dam broke, and it just came through. Cleanup begins as the water recedes after flooding rains. We'll show you which areas are still a problem tonight. First, we continue to follow breaking news. Two Sedgwick County Sheriff's deputies arrested, accused of tonight. Expect more on KSCW. This is Eyewitness News at 9 in high definition. Online at KWCH.com. Follow KWCH on Facebook and Twitter. Up to 70,000 cars drive it every day. Drivers will... This is KWCH 12 Eyewitness News this morning. 5 a.m. on this Friday morning, the widespread heavy rain and severe weather from last night's gone, but we have scattered storms returning here. Just KWCH 12 Eyewitness News at noon. We are mobilizing as we speak. Uh, we expect about 2,000 soldiers and airmen from the Florida National Guard mobilized by the end of day today. The Florida National Guard preparing to send 4,000 more troops by the end of the day tomorrow. Witness News at 9 on KSCW. 
President Biden made a stop in Kansas City today to promote the trillion dollar infrastructure plan. And more than a month after now signing a bill into law, Caroline Elliott's break. This is KWCH 12 Eyewitness News at 10. From 70s to 30s in just 24 hours, plus wind chills that make it feel even colder. This is KWCH 12 Eyewitness News Weekend. It is my honor to nominate one of our nation's most brilliant and gifted legal minds. You're watching 12 News This Morning. Dodge City Police are clarifying a social media post causing concern for some. What you should look out for. Created something that inter interacts with at least 100,000. This is the Kansas Broadcasting System.